One Piece. Oh, You're watching man. One Piece. At least it was One Piece. I mean, at least he was honest. <laughs> at least it was One Piece. Shout out to One Piece. Go to the series. All right. So, Pokelam and Sassy Flygon. Two of my picks who I assume would be in Grands today are facing the semis yeah, for a chance to, to get that nice uh, $77 pause. It's, Maybe a little more. It's how yeah. it's the power of seeding. Seeding sometimes does this. The the players that you would expect be climbing on up either side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rounds one and two is riddled with DQs, but here we are. The, the strong people are the ones that show up. Yeah. Always. <laughs> so can't can't win if you don't show up to begin with. So who yeah, knows? Exactly. But. Either way, we've seen a familiar matchup from this before. Sassy playing against Six of Swords, uh, the Isabel, who, uh, where Sassy won 3-0. A little bit of a, a grade up in terms of both character viability and in skill. And, uh, Pokelam, you know, decorated player with the generally stronger considered uh, stronger uh, mm. character, but Sassy can still attribute the same game plan overall. That was a good no guess there from Pokemon for surviving that down throw setup from Sassy Flygon. See, I'd rather have the character with the better horizontal tools than Luigi than the one with just like a vertical tool that Luigi can just simply roll past <laughs> or throw a fireball at. You know what I'm saying? That's why Villager yeah. is a lot better in this matchup, I feel. But yes. Yeah. And it just seems like Pokemon is a whole lot more willing to, to press uh, off stage, whether he be doing it by just dropping bowling ball and seeing how that uh, how that goes, or by tangibly going off stage, uh, he's playing the matchup a, a ton better, trying to mitigate interactions with Luigi or uh, push him off stage and take stocks that much earlier. Yeah. Sassy Flygon taking their time and patience in, in order to not fall for any of Pokelam's tricks, rolling right past them too. Oh. That was a lot of input errors right there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nothing much to say about that other than just like, I guess they'll let it happen again. Oh my, 30. Ooh, damage. 30. 39, bro. Bro, dash, dash, dash attack kills? It. All right, cool. I've been watching this game forever and I've, I don't think I've seen Luigi dash attack kill until like this game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was practically useless before this game. Now it yeah. reliably <laughs> hits into, now it kills and reliably hits into each other oh, with yeah. a surprising amount of shield stun. Yeah, throughout all the patches that Sakurai has made in this game, he's at least buffed every multi-hit move to make them hit consistently. So if your move does not work now, it it may work by the end of all the patches that, that go through for this game, which we have like at least two more for. Yeah, minimum two. Yeah. Uh, rely ideally, we see a, probably a third. Ooh, okay, that was yeah, good. good. That was dip. good. Good dip. Good dip there from Sassy Flag on to avoid the insta kill right there from this bowling ball. Oh, nice flash too. Okay, never mind. It doesn't matter at that point. You, you're not going nowhere. You, you're forced to up B. <laughs> Free stock for Pokelam. Oh God, your shield. Things Sir? are starting to fall apart for a Sassy who is. It had a really early lead, but once uh, once Pokemon started living at that uh, that first stock at like 150 and gathering much more data because of it, like things start to fall apart. On top of you know bowling ball is pretty good. I mm. Heard that heard that move's not bad. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a down B right there. Let's go for the chop. Oh, and oh, hey. that meaty forward smash hitting you on your wake up, on your get up. Sorry, Good playing job. smash. Sorry. <laughs> Rest the piece. <laughs> right in the noggin. Sorry, we we play we play the f the fake fighting game here. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's, Jokes. A, it's it's a fighting game, but it's a platform fighting game. It's a different Jokes. genre of fighting. Game. You know how there's you know how there's like there's two v two, three v three. Uh, yeah. Arena fighter. There's uh, there's also platform ones too. You know, they still fight. Play They're fighting everybody. Yeah. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting rollback. I heard. It is this summer. Yeah. Imagine playing a platform fighter with rollback. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't but here we it. are. Yeah. <laughs> we're playing going. Smash Bros. right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> it delayed bases is where it's at. <laughs> region lock, though. Region lock, respectively. Game number two. Uh, Mountain Fox. Zeno is in New York. That is where it is based. So fa Fatality, I believe, lives in Georgia. So, no. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to see Fatality at our events here, unfortunately. Unless we see him at an in-person event. Sometime later this year, if he shows up. 
perhaps. I mean, mayhaps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like most like like everyone else that shows up out of state, like yeah, you're you're welcome to get blown up by our our, our amazing locals that probably only show up here. Oh, wow, I'm good. Disappointed on Pokerland, just like waiting, waiting for Sassy Flygon to just do something. Uh, Sassy has been quite uh, quite prone to some to some of these up bees out of shield, trying to combo them into each other or uh, just pull them out when they least expect, but. This game's rather even because of these constant pellets. <laughs> Just yeah. pecking away. Just chopping at his head. Don't peace. Yeah, he's, he's the taller brother, but that seems to be a, a detriment in this matchup particularly. Still a good catch with the backer. Yeah, he got the better range than this bro, though. I will admit. He's, he's got longer legs. He's got a plunger vacuum cleaner. I like that. Whoa, I like that, that a lot. It was a simple air dodge, which is like, oh, he air dodged at a disadvantage. Like, oh, what happened? But you air dodge because everyone expects the Luigi players to mash A or mash B or mash down B. So he did neither, which is good. <laughs> Character development. <laughs> Ooh, nice parries to get in. This <laughs> is skipping away from the, those Lloyd rockets. Like, oh, I can't do anything to it. Will that do it? Oh, oh that they really went straight up? Ugh. Questionable, questionable DI right there. Alright, so yeah, Sassy Flygon is, is... Yeah. They're doing a good job of uh, getting their hits in when they count and taking their percentage lead when they can. So not giving Pokelamp too much of a mile in when, whenever it comes to their turn to take some damage. Nice. Nice little combo there into the, the dash attack. It's a nice stage head. His pocket just, uh, the pocket came out, but the fireball was already gone. Ooh. And the weak up air to back air. Oh, are you prepped for the combos. That's bit, right around this platform, like in full hop height. That's where, that's where Saxy has been really uh, started to explode uh, Pokelam. Yeah. And just rising up air, see if it hits. If it doesn't, you're fine. If it does, confirm that into back air. Pretty, pretty sweet, pretty convenient. And definitely ready to hold on to this lead if he has the mm. chance. Good combo. Oh, three piece right there from Luigi. See, seeing Luigi players that are just not the uh, uh, one trick ponies when it comes to how they play is, is also amazing to see. You can see more of how good this character is. Top 15 type character, in my opinion. Luigi. Utilizing is, a, a huh? lot of the, yeah, the strengths here. Ah. Uh. I don't know. There, I feel like there's 20 top 15 characters, but, yeah, like, is, I, I, but like, I feel what you mean. <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing Luigi a lot more often than, than most characters lately. Maybe Granted, it's, it's maybe, online. Yeah, it's online, but yeah. This is Munoz hot takes over on commentary. I'll take it as the Bible, y'all. <laughs> Munoz takes. Can make a whole podcast. Oh, you're Ooh. dead. No, oh, they're not. You're not. not. Good, good, not air dodging. Not, not trying to pull yourself into the blast zone. Which has a good read here, but this is a good advantage here for Slicey Flygon. Has a whole stock to play with too. So they can just do whatever they want. Yeah, he yeah, he didn't have legend ability, so he had to go high. Wow, still oh, not, not lit. Still Heavy boy, alive. Heavy boy. This villager be eating his protein. Oh, close exchange right there. Pokemon taking the stage back could take advantage here. He right. got the ledge just in time, though he does have stage now. This stock can can be managed, yeah. and it, so it is. Just a, yet another bowling ball. Now the comeback not impossible. Uh oh. Uh oh. And it, uh, it all starts with this. Yes. One good uh, play and advantage here can lead Pokelam to a lot of damage into a kill. Comebacks like that is not impossible in this game, but it's for that moment it was for Sassy Flygon to take that next game. We roll one, one and we up smash it. Yeah. Stop me. You can't. Again, you really couldn't. <laughs> right, I mean, he's at 138, so he can play a little bit risky, but up smash. Oh, he empty hopped, rolled, up smash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're playing my uh, my game of RPS. I'm guessing fast. Well, what you, you, what you doing? Yeah. <laughs> So stage swap, perhaps. I mean, battle is normally a pretty good idea, particularly with a with a character that covers uh, covers a lot of space real well, covers the floor. 
But it's kind of you kind of also feed into its smaller overall size. You interact more with Luigi, which you really just don't want to do. Okay, yes, yeah, so we're going to inverse battlefield. Uh, more center stage, smaller blast zones. <laughs> rolling? Yes. <laughs> He's rolling? <laughs> Alright, so Pokelam. Doing the smart thing of not engaging with Luigi's antics this time around. Using their counter pick to, to their advantage. This is a good strategy. You don't want to... Yeah. Engage as much with the grappler. This is Luigi. Yeah, don't don't try and mess with it. Just because more than likely Luigi is better up close frame data to use. It's just how do you use it, or how does he? When does he get to use it? Ideally against Villager, he never does. But <laughs> that's that's a Pokerland dream and not a sassy Flygon dream. Yeah. Um, Luigi still has some tools that they could use, like the the, the, the Z drop the. Uh... Plunger, the fireball, when he can. He shoot as many as he can. It's not going to affect him if Pokemon catches it. And a down B, whenever they try to catch a roll or something. And the up smash, as you mentioned, that was really good. That was really good. Nowhere to go. Pokemon had to hold that spike. Okay, good. Grabbing him right out of that, that bowling ball, too. Don't want to let him do that for free. If you have the range to shoot this character, shoot him. <laughs> Big Especially changes. Afraid Jordan. of the tree. Okay. But now he'll go... Yeah, he'll go across no Ooh. miss <laughs> tragedy. Slightly passes him on the up smash read. Pokemon had it there. That should have been Pokemon stock. And I mean but you take those. Like, yeah. he he messed up, you get another lease on life. Here's a chance for me to prolong this lead even further, though. You have to watch out for these plants and bowling balls that are flying across. And two. Yeah, it had no choice. Three just for added benefit. <laughs> Ooh, he recovers low. It's a death sentence. It's a, it's a death sentence in this match. That frame one invincibility coming out, but Pokalam is still. When Pokalam has space, even if it's a little bit of space, like it's basically just the corner, but it feels like so much more because there's a tree and a Lloyd and a, everything. Oh no, they didn't way. get punished for that? That's a free punish there. There's so much recovery off that with Lloyd Rocket. Ooh, Pecking nice. away, yeah, no jump. That tree's gonna. I think go on the platform as well. They're close enough. Yeah, it would like fall on the on the tip of the of the platform, but yeah. just luckily enough for Sassy that the oh nice. Oh, is it, good was for it close No, he wasn't a, he wasn't confident enough to go for the down throw up B, which perhaps would have killed. But you now just keeping it safe, keeping it slow. You Watch feed into the plan, game yeah. plan a little bit, but you keep your threat alive. Nice, chases him. It's good for Sassy Flag on there. They're finding the gaps in Pokemon's pressure. Oh, Back, okay. right. that's getting punished. I think they were hoping for a misfire there. It's RNG. <laughs> one and eight. <laughs> one and ten? Yeah, what, crit's one and eight, so I think it's one and ten. Yeah, luck is a skill. Yeah. Back you gotta know next. the odds. Oh no, they didn't get a grab punish there. There's still Angel platform invincibility. Oh, these whiff grabs are too much. This could be even stock zone right now. Pokelam could not lose a single percentage here and then gain this lead all the way back for them. Nice, dashes right past them and throws them off the stage. Even in stocks, in games. The first one to build momentum here is going to take this. I mean, it seems to be Flygon right now. He's just like up smash for up smash. Like, hey, if you're going to hit my shield, I'm going to try and swing. Because if it, as long as it's not with slingshot, you're within close enough for that big fat head. Mm -hmm. There's a roll past it too, but it's jab for it. No jump. Oh, no jump. No jump. Still no, no jump. jump. Oh, no, they missed. Pretty. That was their stock. That was their stock to steal. They don't not stole it. Oh, he's just missing the edge card just enough but hey you got plenty of damage and having the percent lead is good enough because now you no longer have to uh, approach theoretically chop the tree there's a good patience here from flygon not jumping in on any anti-air attempts that pokemon is going for they're stopping flygon's game here but keeping themselves safe at the same time oh yeah had to do this 
<laughs> you get the hell back on stage because you were gonna die if you go any lower. The wood is the down. roll to go in. Big damage, big damage. The percents are starting to stack up a little bit. Yeah, going for that grab scene. You can fish for anything. Not quite doing, but you do have center. Uh, Pokeline will uh, will play around these Ooh. platforms all day. Yeah, don't mess with bowling ball. <laughs> don't mess with it. Bowling ball, bowling ball, potted plant. Oh, down smash to catch the, the missile. Oh, no. You hate to see it. Hoping for a misfire to carry you across. Simply gets you killed in the weaker one. Pokemon moves on to the next game because you still got to play 3 out of 5. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, good idea from uh, from Pokemon though. Like, he sees the misfire. Instead of trying to intercept it or get in the way, just said, hey, no, I'm going to wait till you land. Confirm my stuff by setting up for it with this down smash. Even the great mash doesn't escape from the up smash. No, sir. No, sir. Pokemon in a strong advantage stage here has a counter pick for free on their side in case they lose this next game where Flygon is now taking it to them. To their stone. Back to Yoshi's. Interesting choice. Interesting choice. It was a really even game here. It was. It could. It could have been either person's ways. Yeah, I mean, why not go back to just a stage that's naturally in close close quarters? You you don't mind triplats if you're Luigi. You just mind like the many a chances that Pokolam had to close out stocks super early that narrowly got away from. Him. But if you if you keep relying on your opponent's mistakes, then it will all be for naught. And with a slight lead here, Pokemon is free to chill behind this tree should you get the chance. 1% uh, though, differential. Classic setup versus a grappler type character where the grappler character has like so much struggle trying to get in. But once they do get in, all the damage is being applied. Yeah, kind of bananas. Yeah. Interesting to see. Keeps the game exciting and close to watch. Backer for backer, though. Will he go for another one? Set up for bowling ball? Oh, oh <laughs> no. He still had his jump, so the bowling ball did need to hit, and it just barely did. <laughs> what an insane, like, smash attack move to have. Just, you know, the amount of knockback that just gives you a past 70. This is really insane damage. And you have to pick different recovery routes, and Luigi doesn't have many to spare. <laughs> yeah. Which makes the matchup uh, a lot rougher for Luigi than it is for Villager. Yeah, I could definitely see Villager being uh, being in the the lose column for for the Green Plumber. I mean, he's oh, he gets nice. pecked Shield away, he gets kept out, and oh, despite the explosiveness that you have and the X factor of like, hey, I can just kill you off of three grabs. I can end games off three grabs. Shake my hand. <laughs> like it's hard to grab villager he sets up so well and even with only back air this tech connects not gonna kill goes straight into the confidence zone with that with that lloyd rocket not getting punished back away even more but yeah. that won't do it good it's di he's gonna oh he's gonna go oh, oh. oh and is the it, is tech it as is well worth it it was so, can I build up enough damage on villagers to make him choose to get back on the stage a lot faster than normally? Because you, you have no choice. Your legend of visibility is almost gone. Oh, wait, is this a kill? <gasps> oh, nice DI there from Pokeland. Man, nice anti air with the up tilt. The power of the platforms. He couldn't confirm into Uppy with falling up air, so he had to just go for it raw, see what uh, Pokeland was doing. Luckily, he was SDIing out instead of in. Go for the quick damage, just respect. Is this, He's is not getting pushed back anymore. Yeah. yeah. The tree. <laughs> Handy little tree there. Yeah. Pokemon probably would have went back for a roll read right there, because Assassin's Flag is going to obviously roll through the, the tree setup that they had going for them. They probably would have taken the stock. Now it's Assassin's Flag on turn for his edge guard. Woo! Exchange on like the side. He uses oh, jump. No jump. No. Yeah. You got hit. No jump. Down off again? <laughs> I, could, I mean, you're at 124. It's greedy, but it's fair because you want to. Oh, you, you want to try and close out this game right now? Why not go? Why not try and steal the the Ouija yeah, jump? Punish that. Yeah, 
it's out yeah. punish. It's the, instead of blocking it, it's smart just to let him go all the way through and then running all the way over to punish him. That was very smart there from Sassy Flygon. Bringing us to even stocks. Oh, pinch. Pecking away. Small, but it builds up. As long as these rolls are coming out, like, Pokemon can feel free to maintain his space. Oh, <laughs> gotta watch that bowling ball. Yeah, gotta watch him go all over the place. Power the platforms. Could essentially do this for free in this matchup. The wall I mean, out. He could do this for three minutes if he wants. As long as he's at zero, he's at death percent. Yeah. Oh, All there right. it is. No yeah, longer so. at death percent. Now you gotta get creative here. Now you gotta show us your stuff. Yeah. He'd still be at mad combo percent and could take him to 70. We still don't want to do that, but at least he's not an immediate threat of death. Close exchanges here, left and right, for both players. Backing away some more. Yeah. Percent's about doubled, and it will matter as long as the game keeps going at this pace, but... And yeah, it's calling out jumps, jump after jump. You're, you're eating a little bit of damage, whether it be like 0.5 to 10% every time you jump. Oh, the... mm. Big damage! Yeah. Now I want to see. I want to see this. The axe hit uh, hit Sassy's shield before it ended up uh, clipping him. So I want to see if it shield poked because of uh, the axe hitting his shield first. And grabbing on the platform like a greedy boy who <laughs> comes through. Sounds like you got a double buffer. Yeah, it line. looks like it looks like it did. Uh... Like he didn't drop shield. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely went through the shield. Top the, on this big old that, nose. That's the that's so powerful. Look at it. How much shield damage came out because the axe hit first? Yeah, he, dead. he big dead. My man's dead. My man is dead. Sleeping with the fishes. Pokeland moves on to grands, winners, whatever. Sorry. <laughs> as, as green as a tree. Yeah. Did Pokemon win the last monthly? Do not recall. Who won the last monthly? I think it was him. Because John won the first one. Let us find out. Oh. Meanwhile, while we're waiting for that, yeah. do the match, Reno, y'all. We still have Cop yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon. Alright, so yeah. Pokemon, last time's champ already.